was I? I think it was 23. <sighs> Did I mention I worked all day? <laughs> Got up at 6. Worked from 8 to 4.30. And fought traffic to get here. And it's now. It's almost 1 in the morning. It's a 12.52. So I'm in really good shape here. And freestyle in all the way as usual. 23. And it shall be a house for boarding. A house that strangers may come to from afar to lodge therein. Therefore, let it be good. Uh, let it be a good house, worthy of all acceptation, that the weary traveler may find health and safety while he shall contemplate the word of the Lord and the cornerstone I have appointed for Zion. 24. This this house shall be a healthful habitation, no asbestos or anything like that. No lead pipes, none of that shit. It's a healthy house. It's all copper pipes and shit. All right. Um, a healthful habitation, if it be built unto my name. Wow, that's one strong-ass name. And if the governor which shall be appointed unto it shall not suffer any pollution to come upon it. Well, all right. And it's fucked. Uh, <laughs> before you get to it, it's already fucked. I used to go to a, well, I took a date out to a place called Tubbs for Two back before the AIDS scare because I'm an old guy. Uh, <laughs> and, uh, yeah, those hot tubs were fucking polluted as hell. But they had a sauna and a nice bench that was waist, waist high. And, uh, anyway, enough about that. Um, it shall be a holy... Well, <laughs> in a ways, uh, Toaster 2 used to be kind of holy to me. <sighs> Never mind. <laughs> okay, I lost my place. Holy, or the Lord your God will not dwell there therein. So wait, you need a hotel for God to stay at too? Does he have his own reserve room? God! Nobody else gets to stay in that room. <laughs> and somebody says, well, hey, you know, um, what if God just isn't here? Can I stay in his room then? <laughs> 25. And again... Verily, he's saying it again. I say unto you, let all my saints come from afar. Because he's got, you know, places they can kick it. Twenty-six. And... Send ye swift messengers, yea, chosen messengers, and say unto them, Come ye with all your gold, and your silver, and your precious stones. Well, not all of them. You can keep a couple if you're a guy. Maybe. But, you know, like gemstones and stuff. 
Stuff that costs money. It's worth a shit to somebody. Um, and with all your antiquities. And with all who have knowledge of antiquities. That will come, may come, from... may come and bring the box tree and the fir tree and the pine tree together with all precious trees of the earth. This, this is going to be like a super tree, a chimera, you know, for trees. A super tree. It's all of them. Nothing bad, though. No poison oak or poison ivy, I hope. Or even, uh, you know, anything poisonous. Okay. 27. And with iron and copper and with brass and with zinc and aluminum, if he knew to ask for it. Because you can get some coin from that. I got a can crusher. And a big-ass trash can for cans. Just cans. Anyway. Um, <laughs> zinc. <laughs> and with all your precious things, in case, you know, let's just throw it. A catch, you know, a dragnet there, you know, we got it all. <laughs> Anything worth a shit that we can turn into money. <sighs> Tax free. And with your precious things of the earth, and build a house to my name and pay for it. <laughs> that sounds familiar. Um, for the Most High, capitalized, to dwell therein. Aha! So God gets his own room. It's only fair. Isn't he everywhere, though? Wait a minute. Ow! Sorry. <laughs> Too much of that thinking. That didn't make sense, so obviously... I need another drink. Ah, mm. yeah, there's almost a touch of pineapple there. I mean, you know, slightly. A hint. Rattle it thereof. Twenty-eight. For there is not a place found on earth that he may come to and restore again that which was lost unto you. Or which he hath taken away, even the fullness of the priesthood. So. 29. For a baptismal font, uh, baptismal font, there is not upon the earth that they, my saints, may be baptized for those who are dead. Ah, kind of morbid there, but you know what the fuck, you know they were alive once and probably related to somebody who gives a shit. And, but they're dead now. And, you know, maybe they... You know, you can get them in heaven. I knew a person like that. Found out it was, this guy was a chicken hawk. But his mom was Catholic, and she told me that she was... He was going to heaven because she's been praying him there. So, you know, kind of on the layaway. Okay. 
totally lost my place. Uh, yeah, all right, 30. For this ordinance belongeth to my house and cannot be acceptable to me only in the days of your poverty. Wherein ye are not able to build a house unto me. Then if you're not able to, you, it's okay. You can't. Yeah, so take a break. Take care of some of your own shit that's probably been neglected because you're in a fucking cult. Uh, anyway, all right. Um, 31. But I commend you, all ye my saints, to build a house unto me. And I grant unto you a sufficient time to build a house unto me. And during this time, your baptisms shall be acceptable unto me, if you're presently living, I guess. That was my little uh, accretion I was helping out. 32. But behold, at the end of this appointment, your baptisms for your dead shall not be acceptable unto me. And if you do not these things, at the end of the appointment, ye shall not be, wait, ye shall be rejected as a church. Fail. With your dead, saith the Lord your God. Fuck your dead. <laughs> I had that last part for poetic license. Me, I'll pass. Being a Philistine infidel. A Philistine. Totally lost my place. Uh, <laughs> 33. I'm getting good at this. For verily I say unto you that after you have had sufficient time to build a house unto me, wherein the ordinance of baptizing for the dead belongeth, and for which the same was instituted from before the foundation of the world, they had dead people before then. Sorry. Uh, uh, before the foundation of the world, your baptisms for the dead cannot be accepted before unto me. <sighs> okay, fine, let's move on. 34. For therein are the keys of the holy priesthood ordained that you may receive honor and glory. 35. And after this time, your baptisms for the dead by those who have scattered, those who are scattered abroad are not acceptable unto me, saith the Lord. It's like Charlie Brown trying to kick the football. You got to rebaptize that dude. You didn't do it right. Not yet. Wait a minute. <laughs> Baptism will count when I blow the whistle. I guess. <sighs> Taking a line from, uh, you know, Gabriel, the Archangel. Um, Thirty-six. Babbling here, because I'm a little tired, and it's uh, it's a little after one in the morning. For it is ordained that in Zion, I'm not sure which one they're talking about, probably the one in Missouri, and in her stakes, and in Jerusalem, where the other Zion probably exists, wherever that is. Um, 
<laughs> Those places which I have appointed for refuge shall be the places for your baptisms for your dead. So, you know, the rules are posted now. You're going to waste your time and have to do it all over again if you don't do it right. In this moment, before the rules change again. Okay, 37. And again, verily I say unto you, how shall your washings be acceptable unto me? Except ye perform them in a house, in a house which you have built to my name, Biatch. Wow, this really sucks. <laughs> what am I doing to myself here? Uh, 38. <laughs> 4. 4. 1 was capitalized and started it all. 4-4. Four, four. This cause. <laughs> I commanded Moses that he should build a tabernacle. That they should it with them in the wilderness for like 40 fucking years. It could have taken but probably a month or maybe longer than that, but not 40 fucking years for a prophet who knows everything, has all the answers. Plugged in, got connections. And to build a house in the land of promise where other people live, so they gotta kill them all. Um, that those ordinances might be revealed which have been hid from before the world was. Then it's not our fault. I mean, how could we have known? <laughs> I've never had canned wine before, but I think I'm getting the joke. Because I'm feeling like a canned wine -o right now. 39. Therefore, verily, I say unto you that your uh, anointings and your washings and your baptisms for the dead. And your solemn assemblies. And your memorials for your sacrifices by my by the sons of Levi. That's back in Moses' times. They don't have any <coughs> with the Nephites and Lamanites. Um, and for your oracles, but not pagan oracles, you know, you know, uh, authorized oracles, in your most holy places, wherein you receive conversations, I, yeah, I've done a little talking down there, don't think of it. And your statutes and judgments for the beginning of the revelations and foundation of Zion. The new one, probably. The, the latest one. Where, well, the one in, in Missouri. And for the glory, honor, and endowment of all her municipals and, uh, are ordained by the ordinance of my holy house, one of them, which my people are 
always commanded to build unto my holy name. Never thought I'd do this with wine. It's not bad, though. And it's from Oregon. And uh, I dig that. I'm a Northern Californian, so I get it. And I live in the boondocks on a Mount Hope. Okay, where the fuck was I? I think I know. 40. And verily, I say unto you, let this house be built unto my name. All of them. It's fucking... Or you could name some of them Navu if they're just for entertainment. Just make that money, honey. <sighs> Uh, 40, for verily I say unto you, let this house be built unto my name, that I may reveal mine ordinances therein unto my people. The ones he owns. There he is. Bill. And I don't mean that in a sexual way. I mean that as in... <laughs> Bayarch. <laughs> 41. But first. Mm. Mm. Nice aroma. Um, eh, I don't know. It follows, it follows a rosé, so. Definitely peachy. All right. Where the fuck was I? 41. For I deign to reveal unto my church things which I have wait things which have been kept hid from before the foundation of the world things that pertain to the dispensation of the fullness of times. So this is it, man. Bang. Here it comes. 42. And I will show unto my servant Joseph. So he already knows what's coming. All things pertaining to this house. All right. Then it's a little specialized. Joey's fucked. He, he's probably not going to see this coming. Not exactly, anyway. He probably gets the idea, though. And the priesthood thereof, and the place whereupon it shall, uh, it shall be built. 43. And ye shall build it on the place where you have contemplated building it. For that is the spot which I have chosen for you to build it. Good thing. That worked out. Forty-four. If ye labor with all your might, I will consecrate that spot that 
it shall be made holy. Forty-five. And if my people will hearken unto my voice, that inaudible voice, but it's that, you know, burning in the bosom, or something like that, that fuzzy feeling that says, it ain't true, it ought to be. <sighs> so, fuck it. Totally lost my place again, sorry. Forty-five. And if my people will hearken unto my voice, and unto the voice of my servants, the ones you can hear, the other his you can just feel it after they, after they tell you about it and make all these wonderful suggestions that stick in your psyche. Whom I have appointed to lead my people, behold, verily I say unto you, they shall not be moved out of their place this time. I hope. Let's find out. Uh, 46. But if they will not hearken to my voice, nor unto the voice of these men whom I have appointed, they shall not be blessed. Because they pollute mine holy grounds and mine holy ordinances and mine holy... Wait, wait. Uh, and charters and my holy words, which I have given unto them. 47. She hate when that happens. Oh, 47. And it shall come to pass. Old habits try hard, die hard. And I remember doing a drinking game where I drink to. It came to pass. And double verilies and things like that. Had to do it. That if you build a house unto my name and do not do the things that I say, and one of those voices, his or a proxy, I will not perform the oath which I have. Wait, which I make unto you neither fulfill the promises which ye expect at my hands, saith the Lord. So, you know, he gets to keep rewriting the rules and he may have promised you something, but it doesn't always happen. And it's your fault, somehow. I guess you were just born that way. 48. For instead of blessings ye by your own works, bring cursings, wrath, indignation, and judgments. Not that we're judging. Uh, upon your own heads. By your follies and by your abominations. I used to drink to those too. I'm going to get tore, I think. Uh. Which you practice before me, saith the Lord. And everything's before him, because he has to watch everything. 
even when you pinch a loaf, he's got to watch. Every time you break wind, he's got to smell it. Think about that, man. Shame on you. All right. <laughs> I'm just helping. More guilt is a good thing. At least that's what I was taught. <sighs> Oh shit, verily, verily, I drink to those two. I'm going to start there on the next video. And that'll be verse 49. I'm pretty sure you don't want to keep watching this. So, if that's it for you, and you made it this far, thank you. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful whatever the fuck it is you're having. The rest of you are watching this video, and about that. But, you know, I didn't make you do it. But who knows what might happen.